Hey guys, my name is Cam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be starting another collective haul. I'm pretty sure this is my sixth one so far, but I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. For this haul, I'm actually trying out this new setup, which is at my desk actually, instead of downstairs on my kitchen table. So I'd like to apologize for any lighting issues or audio issues that might occur during this haul just because I'm experimenting with a lot of things. But yeah, for this first clip, I only have a few envelopes, so let's just get right into them. So the first envelope will be this one. So the note just says, Cameron, thanks for buying. I hope this arrives safely and quickly. Please let me know on Instagram when you receive Wendy from Joy Bias. And I've traded with them multiple times and they're really, really nice. So basically, I've been wanting to collect a few non-Irene and non-Sulgi photo cards since I collect all of their album photo cards. So I just decided to pick up this Wendy card since it was being sold for a really, really good price for a finale card. So yeah, thank you so much for selling this card to me. I really, really love it. She's so pretty. Next, I'll get into this envelope just because I already opened it earlier today. And this package too was for a few finale photo cards. So we have this finale version Wendy. I think that the blonde hair suited Wendy so freaking well. And like I said before, her cards are gorgeous. And I also purchased this Silky photo card. I do already have this card, but I was thinking I could possibly trade it to an Irene card that I still need. So if you're interested, feel free to DM me on Instagram at SimzillaBit. But yeah, I also saw these Finale cards for a really, really good price. So I decided to pick them up since Finale is out of print, I believe. So yeah, thank you so much for selling these to me. Next up is this envelope, which came all the way from Spain. So the note just says, Hi, thank you for buying from me and for giving Sulgi a new home. Please let me know when you get this from Cool Hot Sulgi and I purchased from her on Instagram. So both of these items are going to be really, really helpful in my collection. But the first one that I got is one of her 2018 season's greetings card. And I do have her other one, which I got in my last collective haul. So here's this card. And that card actually completes my season's greetings cards, except for like pre-order cards, of course. And I also got her rookie stickers and these two stickers will complete my Silky stickers, finally. Now these two were the last ones that I needed and for some reason they really did give me a lot of trouble, but the backs are just plain white. So thank you so much for selling these to me. I really, really appreciate a fellow Silky collector, you know, helping another one out. This next envelope is for some more silky goods, I believe. So I finally found Silky's Red Mare cards for a really, really good price on eBay. So I just decided to pick them up just because they were all together in a set. Yeah, I'm so freaking happy to finally have these cards. I just wasn't about to spend like $40 on each of these cards on Mercari Japan. So I was really, really fortunate when this eBay seller listed these for a really, really fair price. So yeah, I'm really, really happy to finally add these cards to my collection. The final package for this first clip will be this envelope all the way from China, but it came in less than two weeks. So I was really, really surprised to see it. So there's no note and there's no penny sleeve, but I finally got my hands on Sulgi's Time to Love stamp photo card, I believe. This one is so freaking cute. And for some reason, this card was also giving me a lot of trouble. I really don't know why SM made these Time to Love goods and Pantone goods so freaking hard to find. Like there was just such limited stock with these cards. So just really fortunate to have found this card for a really, really good price under $20. Yeah, she's so freaking cute. I absolutely love that this set has their respective colors in the back. And yeah, thank you so much for selling this card to me. So here's everything that I received in this first clip of my collective haul. And let's just get into the next clip. Hey guys, this is going to be the second clip of my collective haul. Today, I only have two packages and one envelope, but I'm really, really excited for these two packages just because they're for some really, really exciting items. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. So we'll be starting off with this purple envelope. So the message just says, Hi Cameron, thank you for buying Irene for me. Hope it arrives soon for you. Please tell me when it does. Stay safe. 
from NA and their username on Instagram is armbyultinlove. I'm not sure if I'm butchering that or not and I'm really really sorry. But for the extras, they included this Irene Finale sticker and this OT5 Summer Magic freebie. So thank you so much for these. And as you can see, the photo card that I got was Irene's Dum Dum photo card. It's so freaking cute. I absolutely love this card. I think Irene's card is my favorite in the set along with probably Wendy's. I originally wasn't planning on buying this card just because I was going to wait until I bought the album that it comes with, but this person was selling this card for like $5 including shipping, so I just decided to pull the trigger, but yeah, let me actually adjust the lighting. Thank you so much for selling this card to me for such a good price. Now we'll get into this larger package, which is from eBay. Before you guys totally clown me, there is a good reason why I bought these DVDs. So I'm not really sure where the cards are, but these Trolls DVDs, which are from Korea, are supposed to come first press with some photo card sets, so I guess I have to open these up. If this doesn't come with the photo card set, I'm gonna be such a clown. There's no cards in there. So here's the DVD if anybody is interested, here's the Blu-ray, and then they also have a 3D disc in here, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I actually haven't watched this movie, so I guess I'll watch it, maybe? But now we'll get into the main reason why I actually bought these and hosted a group order for them. So I actually went ahead and opened the second DVD as well, just so that I could show you guys the front and the back since they're different, I believe. So here's the group card, and this is the front and this is the back. So it just has red velvet as K-pop trolls up here. And just like the cinema exclusive, it does have the holographic effect on the trolls right here, which is really, really pretty. And here's Yeti set, so the front and the back. And here's Joy set. And Wendy set. Here is Sulgi set, and finally Irene set, and lucky for Irene, she got Poppy, who is the main character, and the pink and the pink match. So yeah, here's the Korean Trolls DVD first press photo card set, and I actually believe that it's the same size as the Trolls photo card that was given out at the movie theater. Let me check really quickly. So here's Sulgi's card, which I just took out of my binder, and I think it's actually a little shorter, so... I guess all these Trolls photo cards are different sizes. And just for a photo card comparison, yeah, it's a lot smaller than a normal photo card though. But yeah, thank you to everybody who joined my group order. I really, really appreciate your patience since this did take a couple weeks to arrive since it was from Korea. And finally, we'll get into this box, which is from a seller in China. I mean, considering how much I spent on this card, they better pack it really freaking well. Oh my god, yes, I did finally get Sulgi's La Rouge Venue Exclusive Photo Card, which was given out in Japan. So here's the card, the back. I don't really have too much to say about this card, just that I spent quite a bit of money on it, and I'm really, really ashamed of it, but... I'm just so happy to finally have this and I'm actually just gonna leave it in its packaging just so that it doesn't get scratched up or anything. But yeah, I did go through a Chinese proxy for this card so it took a while to get to them and then to get to me, but I'm just so happy to finally add this card to my collection and thank you so much to that China seller for selling this to me. So here's everything that I received in the second clip of my collective haul and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, so this is gonna be the third clip of this collective haul. I don't really have too many things today, but I really wanted to open this DHL package since it has a bunch of items that I held a group order for. But yeah, I really wanna open this up really quickly since I am working on my college app since if you didn't know, it's my senior year of high school. So I kinda have to get back on that grind after this. So I just really wanna open these up. But I guess we'll start off with this envelope. So this photo card is actually a trade that I did with somebody on Instagram and I've traded with them before and I believe that I traded a Sulgi photo card, one of her scrapbook versions. Sorry the lighting is so bad but 
That's a little bit better. Oh, you can see my address right here. Let me actually move this. But here's the photo card that I traded for, and it's the $500 Irene card that people go absolutely bonkers for on eBay and like Instagram with the auctions and stuff, but... Yeah, I really am super happy to get this photo card, even if it doesn't sound like it right now. But yeah, I'll put the username that I traded with here. And thank you so much for trading with me. This will really, really help my ring collection. Now we'll get into the DHL box, which is actually from K-Town for you if I didn't specify earlier. I'm actually surprised because they pull wrap this really nicely. So, as you can see, I did host a group order for Irene and Sulgi's Monster Cash Fees. Let me sort these out really quickly. So we got a total of 9 Sulgi Cash Fees and a total of 5 Irene Cash Fees, which I was really surprised about since typically Irene is more popular, like she's the most popular member in the group. but. I guess Sulgi just served this era and people wanted her cash beat. Let me actually open this one up really quickly. For myself, of course. So here's the little pamphlet paper that it comes with, which is like the cash fee information. And the back is so cute. It just has their logo. And here's Sulgi's card. So yeah, there's Sulgi's cash beat. And of course, I'll be putting this in my binder later. And as you saw earlier, I did finally get my hands on the Rubber Festival Day 1, and this is the guidebook version. And nope, I did not originally have this album, so I'm really, really excited to add this into my collection. And this album was ready to ship like a month ago, but the cash piece didn't come out until like a few days ago, so I was like, why are they taking so long to come out? And I didn't read in the product details of the cash piece that they didn't come out until September. But yeah, let me just open this up. I won't be doing a super thorough unboxing of this just because it's been out for like a year and a half now. But here's the front and the back, of course. The CD plate. And let me just take out my poles. So we got a Yeti standee. <gasps> and we got Wendy's photo card. Oh my god, I absolutely love this card of Wendy. I think hers is actually my favorite in this set, along with Irene's, of course. Yeah, there were my polls for the Rubber Festival Day 1, and let me just get everything back in the shot. So here's everything that I received in this clip of my collective haul. I forgot to thank all of the participants in my group order. Thank you all so much for your patience and for trusting me with all of your cash fees. And yeah, let's get into the next clip. Hey guys, so this is gonna be the next clip of my collective haul. Today, I have several envelopes and a few packages with some trades and purchases, so let's just get right into them. So the first envelope that I have is this one, and I've actually decided to not show the front just so that I don't have to mark it off with Sharpie or like cover it up with anything. And I already know what this is since I opened it earlier, but it just says, Cam, thank you so much for purchasing for me. I hope Sulgi arrives to you safely and quickly. Let me know when she does. Stay safe and best of luck on your collection. From Mickey at Ringo Trades on Instagram and Mitcat on Depop. So basically, I got these two cards of Sulgi from the Red Summer. And my opinion, this is her superior card from the set. And then there's this one from the Peekaboo or Perfect Velvet era. And I do already have these cards, obviously, since my Silky album photo card collection has been complete. Oh, not to flex. That sounded really rude, but basically this person was selling these cards for a really, really good price. So I just decided to pick them up to help me out with my ring collection. So yeah, thank you so much for selling these to me. Next up is this envelope. So the note just says, Hey Cameron, just wanted to say thank you very much for reaching out to me to trade. Please let me know when Irene slash Juhyun arrives. I hope she makes it to you safely and surely. By the way, you helped me finish my peekaboo collection for Sulgi, so thank you a lot for that as well. Anyways, thanks for trading. Please message me here if you need anything. From Cedric L, and their Instagram and Twitter is C J O S E F L, and their Depop is Cedric J Lopez, and there's their signature. And they were really generous with the extras. So we have this freebie of Yena from the Onodic Diary era with Hitomi on the back. This freebie of Anako with Yudi on the back. And this photo of Irene, which is so pretty. I think this is actually a fan site photo. 
yeah, so this is probably the fan site name. Can't really read it, but thank you so much for these freebies. I really appreciate it. And here's the photo card that I traded for itself, and it's the final Peekaboo Irene photo card that I needed actually. So I traded the Peekaboo Sogi photo card that you just saw in the last envelope for this, but it was the one that was originally in my binder, and I'll be putting that new one in my last envelope back into my binder pretty much. Yeah, thank you so much Cedric for trading with me. Next up is this envelope, which I think is actually another trade. So the note just says, Cameron, thank you so much for trading with me. I'm so glad to see Irene go to a brand new home. Please let me know when she arrives and stay safe during these times. From Daniel at VRVRZone, and I believe I traded with them on Instagram. I don't remember the exact card I traded for this, but it is mad cute. I absolutely love the backs, the watermelon, and all the fruits for this set are so cute. So thank you so much for trading with me, Daniel. And now we're on to the last letter sized item, which is this one. So the note is really, really cute and pretty, and it just says, Hello, thank you so much for purchasing for me. Hope Irene gets to you safely, and please let me know when she does. Happy collecting, and stay safe. Love, Rizzy. P.S. I enjoy watching your videos. They are super fun to watch. Also, your Sulky collection is to die for. Haha. <laughs> That's so sweet. Thank you so much for supporting me. And for the freebies, they included this Irene card. And this, I believe this is EXO CBX actually, so Chen, Baekhyun, and Shimin. Oop, and I forgot to show their Instagram, which is Solriz on Instagram. And here's the photo card that I purchased from them, and it's Irene's hashtag cookie jar photo card, and basically I did decide to collect Irene's Japanese photo cards just for the heck of it since technically there's only two which is hashtag cookie jar and sappy so yeah now I'm only missing the sappy one which is really nice but yeah this outfit is a serve, cookie jar is a serve. So now we'll get into the larger packages and this first one is actually from eBay even though it's in this Amazon bag. So basically I did end up trading the Irene that I had to Solgi's photo card and it is on the way from outside of the US but I did see this Irene card on eBay for a really really good price so I just decided to pick her up just because she's literally so cute and I honestly couldn't pass up not having this card just because I know that it'll get expensive later but yeah here's her LaRouge photo book photo card. Finally, we'll get into this larger bubble mailer, which is something that I ordered from a seller on Instagram. So let's open up this card first. Ooh, this card is so pretty with this gold effect. Oh, this is so cute. So the note just says, thank you at Simzella Bit for buying my album and finding joy a new home. Let me know when it gets to you from Ryan at Sida Trades and Sales. And they included this Polaroid of their cat, I think. I don't know if their cat is a she or he, but I think that his name is Azusa. So that's so sweet and cute. So thank you so much for this. And the note kind of gave it away, but I did get Joy's cover of the Summer Magic Limited album. I would ideally like to collect OT5 for all of these, but I just know that's a really, really hard goal to complete just because these are out of print and they get really, really expensive in general. Here's the SM ad, nothing special about this. I absolutely love this standee thing. I wish that SM would do this again. Here's Joy's puzzle box, and I'll really quickly go through this and see who the random puzzle piece is. Didn't I get a random puzzle piece? I guess it doesn't come with a random puzzle piece, but honestly, that's completely fine. It did come with both photo cards. So we have Irene's, which I do already have. I traded for two of them and then bought this one. So now I have three, so I'll probably trade it for some Irene photo card on my wish list. Then I have this Joy transparent one, which she looks so stunning in. I absolutely love this hairband. I think it looks gorgeous. And her shirt, iconic, summer magic era, iconic. So here's everything that I received in this clip of my collective haul. And let's just get into the next clip.
Hey guys, so this is going to be the next clip of my collective haul. I only have three envelopes to open today and I was going to wait for more stuff to arrive but it is Sunday and I wanted to let these people know that their stuff arrived. But yeah, let's just get straight into these envelopes. So we'll be starting off with this envelope from the Netherlands and they actually use like this numbering system with online stamps I believe which is really really interesting. I don't know if I'm supposed to be showing this on camera or not or if it's like private information so I'll probably check with them and blur it out but yeah that was really really fascinating to me so the message just says hello thank you so much for trading with me I hope Irene arrives safely stay safe from Yulise at tail PC trading and I believe that I traded with them on Instagram Oh my god, they included so many freebies, so let's go through these first. So we have this photo of Irene from the Peekaboo era. These are actually really, really nice. They feel like stickers, I think, but they're really, really nice quality. And then this photo of Sogi from Peekaboo era as well. And as for the card that I actually traded for, it's Irene's guidebook photo card, which I think this card is so cute. She's wrapped like a pig in a blanket or something i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say so yeah thank you so much to yalise for trading with me next we'll be opening up this larger envelope from australia so there's actually quite a bit of international mail today oh my god this is so cute so they included this really cute freebie card of sogi i'm not really sure where this photo is from but it is really cute So the note just says, Hi Cam, thank you so much for buying from me. I hope Sulgi gets to you safely. Please let me know. I'm glad to help you with your Sulgi collection. I just started watching your videos and you seem really nice. I enjoy your content. Stay safe and take care. From Jessica at Muses Joy on Instagram. This is really sweet and I really appreciate your support if you're watching right now. And yeah, thank you so much for selling this to me. They packed everything so thoughtfully and all these layers of like washi tape and everything but the things that I got were Sogi's Time to Love card holder so it's just like this on the back and then her postcard slash photo card but actually let me open this up really quickly for you guys oh my god this is so pretty I absolutely love the holographic effects here's the back it just has the time to love logo up there and then the branding on the bottom so yeah here is what i got in that package thank you so much jessica for selling these to me i saved this last bubble mailer for last since i already know what card it is and i'm just super excited to show it to you guys it's so pretty they really did go crazy with the packaging just like Jessica did. The card that I traded for was Sulgi's holo denim photo card which is from the Trolls pop-up store. Oh my god this card is so gorgeous. Look at the holographic effect on it. I'm just so happy to have this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and thank you so much for trading with me. I'll put your username right here. So here's everything I received in today's clip and let's get into the next one. Hey guys, so this is going to be the next clip of this collective haul. It's actually been an entire week since the last clip that you guys just saw, but I've only received like two envelopes and then my Not Shy albums from K-Town For You. But even though there's barely anything, I'm really excited to see my polls for the Not Shy albums and get into this envelope since it has some group order items. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So let's actually start off with my Not Shy albums. So I have the green version and the yellow version. I wasn't able to get the red version since if I added it to my cart, it was going to be too heavy and the shipping would have gone up by like $20. So I just decided to get two copies and these were the ones that I got. But let's go through these pre-order benefits. So it comes with this temporary tattoo sheet and this says Yeji, I think. Yeah, I think it does. So I got Yeji's temporary tattoo sheet. And then let's get into these postcards. So here's Yeji's, Bia's, Yujin's, Cheryang's, and Yuna's. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. 
And if you didn't know, Leah is my bias in Etsy, so I'm hoping to pull as many of her photo cards as possible. And I won't open this set up, but I did get Cheryang's temporary tattoo sheet. So if you guys have Leah and would like to trade for Yeji or Cheryang, feel free to message me on Instagram at Zimzelabe. And now let's get into these albums. We'll start off with this green one. So now I'll just do a quick flip through of this photo book since this did come out a while ago. Here's the CD plate, and here's the lyric book. I'm not sure if this is random or not, but yep, there's the lyric book. I really did enjoy this comeback from Itzy. I think they continue to put out really, really high quality music, and they always have a different sound. And they did do signature backs for these photo cards, and the first one that I got is Leah's. Oh my god, she is so cute. I absolutely love her pigtails. She's so stinking cute. I love her signature too. I'm so happy that they decided to do signature backs as opposed to just, I don't know, whatever the hell JYP always does with the ugly backs, but this is so freaking cute. And for this card, it is a unit. And we got Yeji and Yuna, the leader and the magne. So that's really, really cute. And now let me get out the other copy. Let's just flip to the back. <gasps> is this Ryujin's signature? I think it is. Oh my god, she is so pretty and cute. And we got this Leah and Yeji unit as well. Yeji Sue for the win. Oh my god, these polls are actually really good. Yeah, oh my god, Leah loves me. She literally blessed me. I got two of her photo cards. This is so amazing. Um, yeah. I don't really have much to say. I'm just really happy with my polls. So here are the polls for my Not Shy albums. Leah truly blessed me. I don't really know if I want to collect the unit cards, but if you have any Leah solo photo cards, that's not this one, obviously. Feel free to DM me on Instagram if you're interested in any of the other cards. Now we'll get into the envelopes and start out with this one. So the note just says, Cameron, thank you for trading with me. I hope Wendy got to you safely. Good luck on your collection. Stay healthy and safe. From Charlotte at Handsome Girl Trades, and I believe I traded with them on Instagram. So as you can see, the photo card that I got is one of Wendy's finale photo cards, and I believe this is from the scrapbook version. I actually traded one of my It's Me unit photo cards, which is the reason why I'm kind of like thinking about not collecting the units for Not Shy, but this card is so freaking pretty. I couldn't pass it up. I was like, when am I ever going to see this card again? Like the finale photo cards are so difficult to find. And I was like, I kind of wanted to collect Wendy's set since I already had two of them. So I just pulled the trigger and traded it. I'm sorry, Leah. But yeah, thank you so much for trading with me, Charlotte. I really, really appreciate it. Finally, we have this bubble mailer from China and this took about a month to reach me and it has a bunch of group order photo cards. What? I did not order this. This must be a mistake because I definitely did not order this card. So the first thing that I got was Sulgi's On What fan sign photo card, which was like a Chinese video call event, I believe, for the monster era. And oh, this card is so freaking cute. It just has a plain white back, which is kind of sad and looks unprofessional. But yes, here's this card. And there's also this Irene card, which I definitely did not order because I specifically remember selecting Sulgi's option and not the set or Irene's card. So not sure if this was a freebie or if it was a mistake. Am I gonna tell the seller? I'll do the right thing and tell the seller, but I got these two cards. Next, I have all of these Seasons Greetings pre-order cards and I'll just go through each set one by one. So first up is this one from 2019 and I believe that this is from Kyobo Books or something like that. But basically, these are like bookmarks and they have a hole right here. I'm not really sure if they came with the string or not. They're supposed to, but here's Irene's card, Sulgi's card, Joy's card, Yeti's card, and Wendy's card. Oh my god, this one has the hole, but here's the back. It's just very simple. I forgot to say this, but if anybody is interested in any of Joy or Yeti's photo cards, I believe that all of them are still up for claim, so feel free to message me on Instagram at Zimzilla Bit. But next, we have some 2020 cards. 
So these are the transparent cards from Sonara. So we have Wendy's. Let me actually reorganize this quickly to put it in age order. Yeah, here's Wendy's card. Here is Joy's card. Here's Irene's card. Here's Silky's card. And finally, we have Yeti's card. And finally, we have this set, also from 2020. And these were the cards from Apple Music China, I believe. So we have Irene's, Wendy's, Yeti's, Silky's, and finally Joy's. Let me actually adjust this really quickly. I kind of hate how they reuse the picture for like all the pre-order benefits. Like, come on SM, I know that you have other pictures of the girls. Honestly, I'm happy to have these pre-order benefits and thank you to everybody who has claimed or joined them so far. So here's everything I received in this clip of my collective haul and let's get into the final one. Hey guys, so this is Editing Cameron and I actually ran out of clips to film for this collective haul. Even though in that last clip you guys just saw, I said that I was going to film one more for the month of October, none of the mail ended up coming for the rest of that week, so I decided to cut the video here. I am planning on transitioning into weekly hauls as opposed to collective hauls, since collective hauls just take way too long to edit and they just take up so much room on my phone. Plus the videos are like 30 minutes to 40 minutes long and I don't think anybody is going to watch videos that long. But yeah, that brings me to the end of this video. At the moment that i'm recording this actually i just hit 900 subscribers so that's really really amazing i'm so freaking grateful for all of your guys' support on my channel like literally i appreciate every single one of you and yeah thank you so much for all of your support these past few months i really really appreciate it and as usual don't forget to like comment and subscribe stay safe stay healthy stay loud and i'll see you in my next video peace